goodness me now. So, uh, welcome to the very first ever uh, What I Ate Today as a Vegan in Thailand. I haven't really got a picture of breakfast because I didn't really think this through, so we're just going with what I got now. But for breakfast, I had oats with sesame soy, uh, black sesame soy milk, which is something they do over here. Um, it is really sweet, but it's the only soy milk I can find in one litre that uh, doesn't have palm oil in it. So that's something I'm trying to avoid. For lunch, I because I was traveling today, I had um, two little like granola type bar things, um, maple syrup flavored. So yeah, again, you know, really up there on the sugar. But again, it's the only thing I could find without palm oil or milk powder or whatever. And for dinner tonight, I've got some rice and that's not it that's not the only thing it's a fucking mess though because all the sauce from the other thing leaked yeah wasn't a good idea okay and the other thing is vegetables with it said that it was with tofu on the um, on the menu I only just checked now and there's a That's what we're getting. Don't want to tip it too far forward. There's still sauce. End up tipping it all over the bed. Um, we have got in here chopsticks. We've got. Don't know what that is called, but it's called cloud ear, as far as I know. A little jelly vegetable thing that I had a lot in Hong Kong uh, there's a lot of a uh, lot of cabbage and uh, baby corn carrots tomato uh, little chunks of tomato and some kale stem and I think those are kale leaves as well. So I'm going to chuck it all in that big uh, bowl of rice, or little package of rice, and uh, we'll see. So we've combined them in the box by the power of, by the magic of, uh, of cinema, the magic of YouTube. We've combined them in the box for anyone. Uh, wondering the sauce is um, soy sauce I asked the lady to not use fish sauce and I just double checked while I was there that she was using soy sauce which she was let's mix all these up and give it a try start off with this bit of baby corn bit of rice and a bit of I'm trying to get the tomato on there there we go. Mm. Which has gone quite light on the soy sauce. Um, there's, it's very, it's um, you can taste the flavour, but it's not overpowering. Let's go have another go here. Mm. Vegetables are still quite crunchy, which is good. She hasn't fried the hell out of them. Let's have another go. Mm. That's really nice. I'm going to enjoy that. So this is a really, really basic, you know, very basic food. It doesn't take any time at all to prepare. Um, you just need to chop up, up what you need, fry it in a saucepan or a wok or whatever with... Um, with your vegetables. I'll drop some rice. Yep. So, overall, 
It cost me 80 baht for the rice and the veg. I think it was 60 for the um, for the veg and 20 for the rice. So that is about four dollars in Australian dollars. Um, I'm not sure about anything else. It'd probably be about two pounds fifty, maybe. Um, yeah, I just can't work out off the top of my head at the moment. My head's fried from a long day of travel, but. Uh, it for for four dollars it's some quick food um, that seems to be the going rate of food around here it's probably a bit cheaper other parts of Thailand but here it's quite a touristy area with a, even though uh, with Covid at the moment there's um, still quite a few tourists around so they're still charging you know 60 80 and I saw one place charging 155 baht for this so you know, to skip that restaurant. Come back tomorrow for another uh, what I ate today. See you later. I really fancy some orange juice now.